Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and... And Teresa. And hey, we want to say, uh, first off, right off the bat, appreciate the uh, Father's Day wishes from everybody. And we hope uh, that everybody had uh, a great Father's Day and, and, uh, and remembering or sharing time with their father. Uh, you know, I, I think y'all know how I feel and, and Teresa feels about about family and you know we love and try to spend uh, each and every minute as we can that's that's one of our top things fun uh, you know like we said we've got uh, we've got Lainey down again for a few more weeks or the <laughs> summer just however long she's wanting to stay yeah uh, and uh, before we get started on some some great questions today uh, just want to let y'all know how uh, in the pool uh, <laughs> Her and Teresa treat me. Uh, they nicknamed me Pool Boy, and I'm supposed to uh -huh. fetch drinks. Yeah. Uh, clean the pool. Well, you do that. That's why you're uh, the Pool Boy. You yeah. put the chemicals in. You clean it out. You put water in. I mean, that's what the <laughs> Pool Boy does. Yeah, but when it goes to cutting off a branch of a of a mimosa tree, a mimosa tree and fanning y'all, yeah, that's kind of gets way out. No, I don't think Guess so. what? Ain't gonna happen. We'll see. <laughs> All right, let's get in with some, let's get in with some questions. All right, Jeff Young. He wants to know: Did Elvis like potato chips? And if he did, what flavor? Elvis did like potato chips. Uh, I mean, you know, like a lot of things, he didn't. You know, there was times when you know he wanted them. He didn't eat. You know, it wasn't just like uh, probably like me or <laughs> uh, or some of y'all that just love chips and constantly and have to have them. But uh. I, I know he liked the plain ones, and uh, I, I'm sure, you know, he tried some other, other flavors, but the plain, I, you know, he definitely, plain. definitely um, liked. Ian King. Me, I like a lot. I flavors. know you do. You can't <laughs> eat anything without chips. Who is the Memphis Mafia after Elvis do you miss the most? That's, that I can't, can't answer. I would have to say each and every one of them, because let me, let me, all those guys and their their wives, I mean, and their kids, we, we were all a group. Uh, but even, I mean, from the time I was little bitty and lived, you know, we lived with Elvis in California and, 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 and you know, I've been around all those guys. I mean, each and every one of them, each and every one of them had their, uh, their own way about them, their, their, just, I'm trying to help me, Teresa. Here, it's been a, just you know the things and how they were. Each one of them were 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 a lot different, but uh. But you still didn't have a favorite. But they was they was good as gold. Not not really. I mean, you know, someone the, you got along with. In, in, or, in the uh, earlier years, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you know, uh, Marty Lacker, Richard Davis, uh, George. Uh, of course, Dick Grove, you've heard me tell a lot of stories. I mean, uh, but I could sit here and, and name them all. Charlie, uh, Dean, Al Strada. I mean, I, like I said, to, to, to say I miss one more than the other uh, is just impossible. I mean, uh, you know, y'all, uh, I know y'all have heard and read and, and, and seen a lot about these guys and, and, and the parts they played with Elvis and... As I've said it before, not meaning it in any kind of other way, I thank God, like I've said many times, for that life and for, for Elvis and for that whole group of people. Uh, you know, that's something that will always, always be with me. But that's a great question. Okay, I don't have just one particular name for this question because a lot of people ask. I know which one this one is, and yes, uh -huh. we've had a bunch. They want to say, um, tell us your opinion of Priscilla being buried at Graceland. Okay, well, uh, I don't, Teresa, I'll let you go first if you want to. Okay, my opinion is if Lisa Marie had spoken to her mother about it and made a decision, then that's what she should honor. Otherwise, it should be up to Lisa's kids. They should That should be their decision if they wanted to be buried there or not. That's my uh, and, and, and like I said, y'all, uh, these are, are only our opinions, uh, as everybody has has their own. Uh, I, 
I think I've said before, I, I just, nothing against Priscilla at all. I, I mean, you know, spent time with Priscilla. Uh, you know, when I was younger and, and, and you know, she's great, great lady, was always, always damn good to me. Uh, but I'll say this, it, you know, that's, that's their decision. We we don't have anything, like I said, to do with that, connected to it. But my personal opinion on it, I, I just, I, you know, me and Teresa talked about it. And, and uh, I, I just, I find it kind of kind of strange. I mean, oh yeah, you know, she I understand, life, so. but, but yeah. her and Elvis, you know, was not married. I understand that Lisa was her, her daughter and, and, you know, and then, uh, you know, she has a grandson up there. Uh, but you know that was that's Elvis, and and his family. That yes, at one time she was a part of. But I mean, am I, I'm not trying to sound mm -hmm. ugly, mm -hmm. but you know, to me, and it's just me. Uh, you know, they they divorced, and then hey, they still loved each other, still friends or whatever. You know, that's one thing. I mean. But I, I just, I'm not real fond of it. But Well, I'm not either, but yeah. that's why I said, that's why who it should be up to. Right. It should be up to. And, and like I said, made you know, my, my opinion, I, I'm sorry, I keep leaning down my foot. I got a, I got a itch on the bottom of my foot. I've had it for a couple of days. Uh, it, it hits me, especially when I'm driving. I don't know if y'all ever done that or not. And the damn thing just keeps on and you just, you're patting <laughs> and stomping and scratching. And uh, oh. I hide, I get off on that. But anyway, okay. uh, there's. There's your answer. All right, Mike Presley. <coughs> if you had the opportunity to metal detect Graceland, what area would you hunt? I would hunt every bit of it. I would <laughs> probably start uh, up around the house, uh, and then, of course, like I said, all all the all, you know uh, front yard, the pastures, and not you know, and not just because it was Elvis's, and and you know. There could possibly be relics, but uh, as old, you know, and when Graceland was built, I mean, that has a, a history of its own, and, and there's no telling what what kind of relics, uh, you know, might be there. What about where they tore down the house? Yeah, back, well, that's what I'm saying. That was yeah. back, you know, uh, you know, back in there, uh, you know, and, and you made me think, I remember, I don't know if a lot of y'all, we've talked about it, Daddy has before, but uh, when they, him, Elvis and Daddy actually tore that house down, uh, they actually found a, uh, a tombstone. Oh, damn. Uh, underneath. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, the land itself and, and you know, the previous owners and, and the the age of it, it would be, uh, it would be a, a, a metal detector's paradise. I know it would for me. Yeah. So. Okay, Manly Stranger. In your Graceland days, on Saturday mornings watching cartoons, what <coughs> was your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal. Your favorite cereal. I didn't. I didn't eat a. a I wasn't a, a big cereal person. Uh, no, you had to have the. I was a big platter breakfast. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was a little chubby. I, yeah, I like the uh, the yeah. bacon, the eggs, the sausage. I, I'm trying to think. I, I know some some of the cereals that I did eat. Uh, you know. A little bit later. I mean, it might have possibly even been there that time. I, I know. Uh, you know, in my teens, uh, I liked uh, Frankenberry and uh, the old uh, uh, Sugar Pops, I think it was. Sugar they had Pops. the cowboy on it and Sugar Pops, they, they were they, they looked like... I thought they had the frog on it. Sugar Pops. No, that's Sugar Smacks. Oh, okay. I, I did eat some of those, okay. too. Uh, so that would probably be maybe the three. But like I said, I just, uh, I, I wasn't a, 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 a cereal type kid i was uh, uh mm -hmm. meat, bacon eggs, potatoes biscuits. <laughs> yeah give me that old-fashioned mm -hmm. country breakfast with the works you, you were know, trouble wasn't the it? gravy the ham you didn't want the easy breakfast the homemade wanted... biscuits <laughs> okay <laughs> last question is from ky i Mayden. still like that today if i can get teresa to fix it not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. you know as you say we'll see about that <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll, see. we'll see we'll see about that do y'all eat purple hole peas and turnip greens and did elvis like veggies okay you know what I'm gonna let Teresa answer her part of that. <laughs> I I like purple hole, but I will not eat turnip greens. And her no. daddy grows them as my mom and daddy do. I love them. 
Look, it was just a few years ago that I finally talked her into actually cooking me some. She used to not even want to cook. I, I, can, I can't stand country. Mm. I mean, you, she calls herself a country girl. She's not country. Now, for me, <laughs> I love turnip greens. I love black-eyed peas. I love purple hull peas. Mm -hmm. I, I love know. fried okra. I love yeah. just about fried green tomatoes. I, I don't like watermelon. Uh, field peas. Trout peas. So that's country. So what did uh, Elvis like vegetables? He did. Uh, I know one of his favorites was was uh, crowder peas because I've heard Daddy talk about it. You know he liked to eat them a lot, and and like we said, you know he'd get on a uh, on a, on a roll of eating some of the same things. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm sure you know uh, there was vegetables that he didn't like. Uh, so if y'all ask that question again you know, or want to know about it, I'll try to find out uh, from Daddy and and maybe some of the other ones. But I I do know he 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 really liked uh, crowder peas. Crowder peas. Okay. So what else we got? Well, I think I said that was the last question. Was that the last question? Yeah. Y'all, that was the last question. Pool boy, you having a bad memory, I guess. I got your pool boy. Too much chlorine. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all, we've enjoyed it as always. Hey, hadn't said it in a while. If you hadn't subscribed, Please. tell your friends. Yes. And you subscribe. Hey, get them to subscribe. We love this. Send in your questions. Get them to send in their questions. We love doing this. And, and enjoy it so much. I want to wish each and every one of y'all a good week. Yes, a great and, week. And uh, finally, I, I Teresa's not going to cut me off this time. Finally, I get to go back to doing what uh, what I love best, and I know she does too, y'all. So, hey, we'll see you. We'll put you out of short this week. And remember, we, we always, always live Elvis. Elvis.